Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to my kitchen, Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen here in Orange, New Jersey. I'm giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day, wouldn't you agree? Today, guys, I went to Aldi's and um, I have my Save-A-Lot bags because those are the bags that I had in the car with me and my daughter. So I was like, you know what? I'm tired of paying for bags. I have like a thousand bags, not literally but close to a lot of bags in my car. Anyway, I did a quick little grocery haul, so I said, hey, this can be some content. Let me go in and put this up for a video. So I'm gonna try to stretch it a little bit, slightly at least I can. But for real, the reason for um, giving honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day, wouldn't you agree? Because without God, there could be no me, no you, no us. Now. I went and picked up a couple of little odds and ends to top up some things that I'm doing for a Halloween party that I'm doing. You know, I told you guys about the Halloween party that I'm doing. Okay, so um, I was saying a couple of these things is just like a top up for some stuff that I'm doing for a Halloween party that we're giving, right? And you guys have heard me on my videos. I used, I used to give them um, the children Halloween parties every year. But then I had the knee surgery, so for like two years I didn't do it, and I think a little time before that, because I had some little critters in my house and they broke up a lot, <laughs> a lot of my um, animatronics, right? So I had to rebuy things. But anyway, it's all good. So let me go on with this haul from Aldi. Now, I went into this other shop because we had, let me explain to you why I have the Bigfoots on the table. And anybody from the islands, you know about Bigfoots, right? I like the spicy ones. We've been munching on them when we were on our way home, the grandkids and me and the other people that was in the car. So anyway, Bigfoots are like, if you're from like the islands, Jamaica, Bermuda, whatever, people from the islands love to eat these spicy Bigfoot it's like a cheese flavored corn snack and they are delicious but um anyway that's why i got those so no they didn't come from aldi's but let's get the aldi's order done okay we have here some benson's cookie mug toppers and i seen cooking with mama mel she had these in her um like you can have a cup of cocoa on the side or coffee cappuccino whatever and the cookies have a little slot in them that's why they call them mug toppers. And you could put them on the side of your cookie so you can have that delicious cookie with your drink. And this is a crunchy caramelized cookie designed to fit on the rim of your mug. So I got those from Aldi's. Then when I said about the top up, I make a lot of Halloween themed food theme foods for the kids when I'm doing the Halloween party. So these are some spooky sandwich cream, uh, like Oreo cookies. Now I brought the Oreo cookies because they're going in a recipe that I'm doing. So mostly everything you see on this table is for stuff that I had to get to finish what, what I was doing for the Halloween par party, the food that I'm doing the thing with. So those cookies are just going to probably be just like that because they're already black and green. So I just like them because they were Halloween um, oriented. Then I have these... Um, Bow tie noodles here. I got two bags of those because for the adults, I'm going to make a, um, this Italian pasta salad that I make. Then I was looking. We were out. We left to go get Nyla like 3 o'clock. We've been out ever since then, and we're just getting home, and I'll tell you no lies. It's, it's at 6. And we were running around looking for these freaking pretzel sticks because they're so hard to find if you find them all mixed up in a bag with the cheese puffs and all that old stuff and doritos and everything they're too small so i'm making some witches brooms so i needed these long ones and they were so hard to find and you wouldn't believe my daughter said our last stop was to go get some gas as we stopped at the gas station i said daughter let me run in there and see if they have them sure enough they have had them, and they were only 149 a bag so I got two bags of those because that's going to go to my witch's room. Then I got some cucumbers, the little small cucumbers, because I'm making the Italian pasta salad I was telling you about. I got some cilantro, cherry tomatoes because they go in with it. Then for the witch's brooms, you need to have um, something to tie the mozzarella cheese around to the actual like broomstick, pretzel stick. So I looked all around for chives. I couldn't find chives. So what I did find 
I got two bunches of green onions. So everybody knows the part that's on the end of the onion is nothing but the chive anyway, the top of the onion. So can you see that? I'm just gonna cut them in strips and use that to bind the mozzarella cheese on top of the sticks to make the bris of the witch's broom. Then I have some celery because I'm making another dish, uh, a Halloween themed dish with the celery stick. And I have some turtle baked pizza flavor bites. I'm just gonna throw that in one of my um, decorative uh, platters to serve the children and the adults. I got some butter because I'm making macaroni and cheese. So, for the children, I was going to make a big pan of macaroni and cheese. And I said, no, because kids are not going to eat macaroni and cheese like that. So, what I did to stay with the Halloween theme, I got the limited edition Cheetos mac and cheese box of bones. So, um, I got two boxes of those. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the box macaroni and cheese on the stove for the children because they like the stove top the stove top macaroni and cheese better anyway but adults like the macaroni so I'll make a small pan of macaroni and cheese for the adults then Lele asked me to get couscous because she know I love it and she love it so I said go in and get it so we got one couscous then we got some red onions that's going into my Italian pasta salad then I got some white onions then I got some cutesies because this is going to be a part of my Halloween theme as well. They're the mandarin uh, seedless ones. Then I got, I saw this pumpkin latte premium, premium ice cream bars. And it's pumpkin latte flavored ice cream with decadent caramel sauce dipped in milk chocolate and topped with cinnamon cookie crunch. You know I'm going to feast on that. That's just my drink right there. Then the last things I have over here is the melting waffles. That's the um, white melting candy that I'm going to use for another Halloween theme item I'm using, right? And then, I don't know how my boot got on there. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Then we have the some more vanilla bars. Now, these are baking bars, just like the melted uh, dots, but only they're made like dots. You know what I'm talking about, right? So I'm going to use this. I'm going to melt that, and I'm going to use that for a Halloween thing item I'm doing, too. I'm not going to give you guys all the surprises. I might bring you along to the party. Would you like to come? You're sure welcome. But this video will go up first. But that is it, guys. So that's all I got from Aldi's. And for the Aldi's order, the only things I didn't get from Aldi's were the... Snyder pretzel sticks that I found at the convenient AT, um, the little convenience store at the gas station. The Bigfoots I got from a um, Caribbean store. And the rest of the things came from Aldi. So my Aldi order with my debit card was only $58.42. And that wasn't bad for this. I think that was, you know, pretty okay. Right. Oh, and my son got a, um, a quart of a cookie dough ice cream because him and my daughter making some shakes downstairs so that is it guys that is it and i ran this video to almost eight minutes and girls we got to get that so thank you so much for joining me i cannot wait by the grace of god you know i love my halloween god's still working on me guys <laughs> but i cannot wait to show you the halloween theme and the food that i make so that will be a video within itself okay thank you guys for joining me god bless you may have a smile down upon you have any of you been to all these lately? They have a lot of nice um, things that's on sale there. And I just love shopping. Thank you, guys. Happy Halloween. Guys, I forgot to show you. I told you for the party. I was making um, boneless strips for the adults. And for the kids, I have chicken nuggets. So... Um, I had to get it out the freezer. My son had put it in the freezer when we first came in. I forgot all about the chicken, but here it goes. This is the two packages of the boneless tender breasts. So I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to do chicken strips with them for the adults to go with the pan of macaroni and cheese and pasta salad. And that's the ice cream that um, my son had brought. We ran into Dollar General and that was on sale for $4.00. Of um, ice cream, so that's it, guys. I'm sorry, I had to put this on the end of the video 
lucky I remembered when I was still at it. <laughs> okay, thank you.